Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing you your weekly love read for Aquariuses. Um, Aquarius, this read is for September 6th through the 12th. It will be you, them, and the connection. Uh, we're going to pull some cards on you, them, and the connection. Um, please keep in mind these are general reads. Um, they will not resonate with everybody. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you're truly interested um, or feel like this definitely wasn't your read at all, you can check your moon and your rising. If you're not familiar with what your moon and your rising are, um, you can take a peek below. There's a website that will take you to get that information. Take it, There's a link to a website that will give you that information. I do have my website up and running, so if you're interested in a personal read, please let me know. Um, there is There are directions on how to do so. Thank you, thank you, thank you for always viewing um, my videos. I do appreciate that, um, and I hope you keep coming back. So let's see what we got for Aquarius is in love. So the bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles. So this is a um, card of teamwork. So I think um, in this relationship, potentially, your situation will be one of teamwork. Or it could be potentially with someone you work with. Um, but more so, I think more so, it's more like someone you're willing to be a teammate with. You know things don't come easy. You know things take work. And that's what it's going to take, um, which it looks like it's going to take some work. Um, for your energy, Aquarius, we have the Page of Swords. So Page of Swords is a card about curiosity and, and learning information. And it's often depicted as kind of um, watching people on social media, gaining information from their friends, kind of keeping tabs on someone from a distance. So perhaps you are currently kind of keeping tabs on somebody right, through social media. Um, the Four of Swords is a rest and recuperation card, so um, perhaps you're healing from a situation that you're kind of keeping tabs on. So, you know, you need to kind of find that balance. You need to rest your heart. You need to rebuild your strength, right, um, to have this joy and happiness, this sun card in your life. I think you um, are very generally like a happy, optimistic person. Um, which is what the sun card represents. It also could be a child, could be a Leo, but we're talking about you as an Aquarius and your energy. So um, I think that you, in order to be this happy, optimistic person that you can be, perhaps you need to stop watching someone online or being uh, into what they're doing. Get your rest and relaxation to have this happiness. Perhaps. Your person, I feel like your person has done some evaluation themselves. Um, they might be kind of just analyzing themselves and trying to figure out like what worked for them in the past, what hasn't worked for them in the past, and just kind of really being honest and judging themselves. We got the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Lots of fire. So that's um, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. The Queen of Wands to me is always a Leo the Knight of Wands could potentially be any fire sign. But this is someone who is energetic, flirty, sexy, um, fun to be around, quick-witted, humorous, um, enjoys a good time. Someone that is really kind of easy to be around. Lots of fire, lots of passion. Um, and they could be bringing some messages to you with the Knight of Wands. You could be getting some messages. Um, but the connection is really interesting to me because... I feel like the connection is one in which there's some sadness, like someone kind of sees all this goodness just kind of going down the drain. Like maybe it's not being utilized, right? Someone's kind of just wasting it all away. Um, and a wounded kind of feeling that needs protection. So um, I guess this could be you, right, Aquarius, because you're in this rest and relaxation stage. So maybe you've been wounded in the past and you're trying to just really hold yourself. But it could also be your person with the judgment. So maybe they are um, afraid to feel sadness. Um, and so they're staying really guarded because they've been saddened in the past. But again, we have the Page of Wands, which is um, this flirty, sexy, fun energy, right? So... 
I think the potential and on fire again. So, and this is fire and this is um, water. So I think the potential for lots of flirty, fun, sexy energy, m good messages, messages of good news are, have the potential to come in. But um, one or both of you guys are being guarded. I'm going to clarify. Let me clarify this, um, the reason for this. Actually, let me clarify this page of wands. What's going to be coming? The Empress. Yeah, Aquarius. So you could potentially be meeting your Divine Feminine. Knight of Cups. Again, it's their energy. Yeah. Mm. The Star card. Yeah. Oh, Queen of Cups. Okay, so the Queen of Cups came up twice. The Knight of Cups came up twice. And then you have the Empress and the Star card. So the Star card is uh, Aquarius, but it's also hope or wish fulfillment. So when I said, let's clarify this page of wands, we got the Empress, which is your divine feminine, right? This is your counterpart, someone that's nurturing, loving, caring, empathetic, the, just the yin to your yang with the Knight of Wands. Uh, Knight, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. I said there was two Knights of uh, Wands, but there's this is the Knight of Cups. Someone bringing a love offer, true love offer with the Star card, so wish fulfillment. So I do think you will be... Um, if you let your guard down, Aquarius, you will have your Empress, which is amazing, right? And like I said, if you're a female watching this, um, it's just an energy. It's your counterpart. Someone that's like the yin to your yang. Someone that's nurturing, kind, caring, empathetic, loving. Um, that just kind of makes you feel whole. Um, let your friends help you is uh, the Romance Angel Oracle by Doring Virtue that flew out. Ask for and um, accept support from others. So... Yes, Aquarius. So apparently you need to ask for support from your friends and you need to listen to your friends. Do you hear that? <laughs> okay. Um, we are going to get Diane Garris, Divine Counterpart, speak in the silence. So we're going to get a message from the Divine Counterpart, this Empress down here. What does this Empress have to say to you? What does this Empress have to say to Aquarius? Plain and simple, I know you are my person. I just don't know where that goes or exactly what it means. I do want to move forward. I do want to move forward with you. Oh, I do want to move towards you. Sorry. And then the bottom of the deck says, I didn't really, f I didn't fully realize what was right in front of me. I'm sorry. Sometimes I feel like I don't deserve such love. It's scary. Interesting, Aquarius. All right, we have the Hidden Truth Oracle by All Things Intuitive. We're going to grab an oracle card from here. What's the Hidden Truth? Oops. I hid who I really am from you. And we both know I'm not the one for you. Mm. Well, that doesn't really make sense now, does it? So um, take that as it resonates. We both know I'm not the one for you, and I hid who I really was for you. So maybe your person is feeling like they're not the one for you. But um, maybe that's why they went through this judgment phase, right? Like they're really looking at things and feeling like they're not deserving of you. I'm not sure, Aquarius. But uh, I do feel like your true divine counterpart is coming. You have to stop feeling so guarded and wounded. And you have to stop feeling sad about a situation from the past that made you rest and recuperate. One that you may be keeping tabs on from a distance. Okay, so the last thing we're going to get is the Little Yogi Happy Notes from Barbara Shaw Sh Shower. Shower. Oh. I'll just take them both because they both came out. Um, these are super cute to me. Encountering one another at eye level is very important for that's the only way we see ourselves properly. Hmm. So maybe we need to take a look at ourselves and, and your person needs to take a look at themselves to kind of really be able to fairly judge the situation. And problems often solve themselves if they are not stirred up in the process. So maybe you make your problems bigger than what they need to be, Aquarius. I don't know. 
All right, guys, that's going to conclude our reading for today for Aquarius. I hope this resonated with you, or if not, just gave you a chuckle here or there. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks again so much for watching. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I appreciate your support so much, guys. Thanks again. Take care now. Bye-bye.